Hi, this is MXUX. You know, I've been stalling doing this, releasing this video, because I thought this might be a AI trick, but uh, there's been two releases of this story, uh, one on the Wall Street Journal and one on the Business Insider that I could find, also this guy on the Internet, about Elon Musk's drug use. And they're accusing, this is Wall Street Journal and Business Insider, accusing Elon Musk allegedly of ecstasy, LSD, mushroom use. Uh, they're saying that uh, Larry Ellison, a board member, uh, also uh, took him to Hawaii or invited him to Hawaii to dry out. This guy here is some Tesla basher who I've never heard of who broke this story. Um, at four o'clock in the morning the other day. Um, this is another story here. Uh, Elon's directors feel pres pressured to do drugs with him. So I just want to add to this. I know someone from Cupertino who did a startup there, sold it, very successful, personal friend of Elon Musk. In a casual conversation, discussing Musk, and this was pre-Model 3, so a little while ago, I said, does Elon Musk, I asked him if he smoked weed. He said he does not do any drugs, but he does drink. I do believe this is a start uh, of an attack on Tesla that is going to use the Lordstown Motors playbook, and I'm going to try to explain the parallels here and what's going on. Um, again, this has all been played out with Lordstown Motors beforehand and I know you're saying well Lordstown Motors is no Tesla so but I'm telling you you just watch the video you'll see what I'm talking about this is the guy with the backwards hat who was a Lordstown Motors basher whose ox is getting gored now he's almost on the right track he's got Biden up here he's mentioned X which is Twitter and I think these are two key things. Now, I do not believe backwards hat guy who I cannot stand is going to get to the bottom of this. He has no idea what's really going on. But uh, there he is. Anyway, let, let's move on to the next section here. Now, the Twitter thing is important because what Musk is doing with Twitter is he is giving alternate media, like Tucker Carlson, a platform. And Tucker Carlson just released a January 6th based video talking about the false flag of the pipe bombs that were planted that day. On Twitter, this was a blockbuster. This is the third rail. This is something, I don't want to use the term deep state, but certainly the political opposition does not want to see. And Musk is enabling Tucker Carlson to say things he could not say on Fox News. I think this is a key part of what's going on. Also, Tucker Carlson has mentioned how much he hates uh, George Soros, and I'm going to uh, get into this a little later about the role Tucker uh, George Soros played um, allegedly with Hindenburg in India. But uh, these are things that spark the attention of the political machine. Now this is a video I did here, uh, the real story behind Lordstown Motors, uh, what's BV's got to do with it. Uh, I'm going to play some of this video now. I would recommend everybody go and uh, search this out. I'll put a link in the description for this video. This goes into detail. Um, who was behind, and I do believe Lordstown Motors uh, was crushed by a uh, cabal. Uh, the stock was destroyed, the founders were destroyed, and, I, and it is my opinion. I mean, based on research, you can make up your own mind. I'm not alleging any illegal acts here. I wouldn't do that, but uh, there are links to uh, Donald Trump in the founding of uh, Lordstown Motors. Of course, he got the plant for Lordstown Motors. He got Lordstown Motors off the ground. Here's some uh, announcements that uh, Trump did regarding Lordstown Motors. He was a big. He was. He is the reason Lordstown Motors exists. Ted and 
also, Lord San Modus was the cornerstone of his industrial policy. There he is at the White House uh, with the CEO of Lord San Motors. Now, political opposition could not allow this business enterprise to be a success, uh, in my opinion. They could not allow this, and here it is, the Endurance beating an F-150 in a tug of war. I mean, this is a viable truck. Uh, the point is, uh, they could not allow Trump to have a victory in his industrial policy. Um, there was, I believe, a organized effort to destroy uh, and delist and bankrupt Lordstown Motors to discredit Donald Trump. I do believe that was the motive. I don't, you know, the fact that the truck was nominated for Truck of the Year, went into production, everything they said wasn't going to happen, and what these idiots like Backwards Hat Guy and who's the other guy with the beard that's always pounding on the, on, on the table, Tom Nash, these idiots, and let's see how they respond to this uh, uh, Tesla bashing, uh, they were all part of the problem. Uh, they were piling on too on Lordstown, but now this same attack, I believe, is underway on Trump. I'm sorry, well, of course it's an attack on Trump, and by the way, this is not a political channel. I'm just stating my research here, and I have, uh, you know, I do not have a dog in this fight uh, politically, but <clears throat> now you have the Hindenburg report. You know, we may have a Hindenburg report on Tesla, uh, in India, a major corporation was attacked. Uh, one of the biggest companies in the world, one of the richest people in the world, was attacked. And uh, they now this is the great uh, orders quote where Steve Burns says, no, they're not orders. We don't have a truck yet. And this guy's saying, but you said there were orders. And he's saying, no, there weren't. Now, I have a podcast online. I can't put it on YouTube. Look at this podcast if you want to see some real uh, deep state stuff uh, attacking uh, Lordstown Motors. I have proof on that podcast. Uh, but anyway, uh, there is Soros. Soros was behind, allegedly, according to these Indian, this Indian company, behind the Hindenburg attack in India. And Elon Musk uh, has said that Soros is against humanity, and of course, George Soros absolutely hates Donald Trump. So you see the nexus here, um, and this this is you know a thing. This is not I'm not making this up. Now I'm getting into here, and this is another aspect of this uh, destruction that's probably going to take place is the Chinese aspect. Now, with Lordstown Motors, Foxconn, which is based in China, the biggest company in the world, mainland China is where all their manufacturing was, pulled the funding on, on Lordstown at a critical moment. Why? Terry Gao was running for president. Why? Terry Gao is friendly with the Chinese government. He wanted to reconcile Taiwan and so forth. The point being, uh, it was to stymie Trump's re-election. They wanted to put the final nail, the stake in the heart of Lordstown Motors by removing the funding from China. And uh, Tesla could face the same thing from China as they have a great exposure here. Now you got an SEC uh, claim of $45 million against Lordstown Motors. They're also going against the founders of Lordstown Motors. SEC is. I can guarantee you this is going to also happen to Trump. Uh, uh, Musk, they're going to go after him. The SEC is going to start coming up with a never-ending investigation that's going to finally come to fruition at the most opportune political time. Uh, but not only are they going after the company, they're going after the founders, and that and they will do the same thing to Musk. You you wait and see. And uh, you know the SEC has decided now. Although Peter Rawlinson of uh, Lucid Motors uh, gained uh, uh, three hundred million with his stock deal, they decided not to investigate him. Why ties to Saudi Arabia? Okay. Now, 
let's look at the Cybertruck orders. 1.9 million Cybertruck orders. This is the order issue. This is the same issue that they hung their hat on to attack Lordstown Motors. I just noticed uh, on the internet the TFL guys are doing a thing and they're saying, well, we think that there aren't as many uh, Cybertruck orders as there are because we were moved ahead in line for our Founders Edition order. I think that's because maybe some of the people canceled the Founders Edition, but I think there's a over. This is a great truck. I've seen it in purpose in per, uh, live uh, on the street. Anyway, it's like an expedition. Okay, that's that's what it really is. Uh, it's a, like a Ford expedition. But the point is. These orders are going to be a catching point. They're going to hang their hat on this. Now, this is the uh, news release from uh, Lordstown Motors about their orders, okay? And they had uh, the same thing that uh, Lordstown Motors, 100,000 pre-orders, Tesla, uh, 1 million. Now, they're going to use the same game plan with Tesla that they used with Lordstown Motors. So, I'm just warning everyone... I mean, I'm not warning. This is my opinion. You do what you think. But there is a cabal out there, and this is political opposition to American business. And they are out to destroy anyone and anything that is supporting the Trump presidency. So I'm just going to close this now, the Trump run for president. Uh, Steve Burns has bought all the technology for the endurance and he's going to relaunch the company he wants to anyway this is mxux he still has faith i do too i think that's a great truck uh i hope you guys like this video i uh, as i said i hope i'm not wrong on this i hope it's not an ai scam i believe it's real wall street journal business insider going after elon musk hi this is mxux just want to put out this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor, accountant, attorney, engineer, or any other professional of any type. Any information I provide is my opinion only, and it's for entertainment and educational purposes. Uh, please do not use this information to buy, sell, or hold any security. And always seek professional advice before you invest in any any security. Um, uh, there is potential for loss. Thank you.